Hello and welcome back to Caleb's Chill Gaming on YouTube. Today we're going to do the Kickroach Lair Dungeon. It is the last of the free to play dungeons that we're going to run through and then we'll tally uh, the numbers up and see which one is the best to run and grind through and see if you can make money on it. So if you come here at 3 minus 17 there are a few little requirements that you have to do before you can enter the dungeon. Obviously you'll need the key. But you also need to be wearing the Rikiki wand. You need to have that equipped because that makes your character smaller. So you go inside the house, go all the way to the top floor, and if you can't see it, you can use the Y key. You can see the little mouse hole here. We click on that, and that will take us into this guy. We'll use the key and we'll start the timer and we'll run through this fairly quickly won't be a super speed run but we'll do it as quick as we can once you've got in you can change back to the weapon that you usually use so I'll just try and run through this as quick as I can oh, I only need to hit him twice that was a bit of a mistake but it's okay we'll be able to get some damage down here kill him uh, not quite enough. We'll be able to get him next turn. Alright. Whoops, I hate when that happens. You click on it and then the mob moves. And it keeps stuffing up until you get it right. Okay. So we're not really going to focus on too many challenges if they will slow us down too much. But maybe in the last, in the actual boss room, we will. We'll try and get the challenges done. But we also have to take into consideration the time it's going to take to do those challenges. And if that means it's going to slow us down too much, then we won't do it. So we'll just kill him and then we'll go to the next map. So this dungeon is a little bit higher, it's uh, recommended level 40. What I will do is, uh, I will be capturing the soul on this one. Um, I've sold them before for 10,000 karmas, but I'm thinking to try and get them sold as quickly as possible, I'm probably going to sell them for about 7,000. And I think you'll be able to move them pretty quick at that price. So the drops here are really not worth that much, so this one, uh, monetary wise, probably isn't going to be that great, but it is a better experience uh, dungeon compared to the other ones that we've done. But we'll calculate all that at the end. Cool. Alright, come to me, get in the line so I can Use my mineral shovel on you. Yes, good start. You end up right there, please. Oh, that works. Yep. Get you both with a couple hits. Excellent. And so this is the boss here, which is the kick roach, as you can tell from the kick roaches there. So we'll put on the small stone, we'll just regain some of our health. Could do multiple use, but that requires math, so nah, not today. Alright. What are the challenges? No health, that's probably gonna not gonna happen. And kick roach. Oh won't reach him, nah. We won't be doing that one. Um, can I hit you? No, nah, that's okay. We'll wait. Now he does have a, a, a straight line of attack, he has he spins his little dial around and shoots this big laser out, it's a pretty cool animation actually. Uh, oops, probably should have reduced his range, but it's okay. We'll take away his MP. So he's made a summon. Oh, he's going to block us, that's not ideal. Can we... We can go like that, so we can kill him. And we'll just go like that, so 
Uh, we're going to lose the challenge now with the... Don't lose any health, but that's okay. Hopefully he'll run up here so we can use our mineral shovel twice. That works. And... Well, we can't run away anyway, but that's fine. We've got him the next turn, so oh, we'll, we'll have to use our soul capture. So we'll make sure we've got our soul capture. And that won't kill him. The next turn we'll get him. 30 to health left. That's okay. We've got him. Oh, he's healed himself. Oh, he's gone invisible. Is he going to attack from somewhere? We got him anyway. <laughs> right, well, we got the soul. So that's worth a little bit. Not a huge amount. So we're going to leave the lair and then we'll go back in. Well, actually, what we have to do is put on the Rikiki wand, go back in, talk to this guy, and then the timer will stop. So, what we'll do now is we'll go to the numbers in just a second and see if this dungeon is worth running and if you can make comms on it. Be back in just a second. So now we'll get to the numbers. You can see that the perfect small soul stone cost me about 2,000 karmas, a key costs about 800 karmas, and I can sell the souls for pretty comfortably for about 7,000 karmas per soul stone, and the drops were terrible. 330 karmas for the drops on average per run. The drops are not worth hardly anything. So all we do is we take the sale price from the uh, cost price and that gives us about a karma gain of 4530 karmas per run but the time taken was quite long it was five minutes and 14 seconds so 314 seconds and so all we have to do to calculate how many we can run in an hour is we just do 3600 divided by the time taken so 3600 comes from there's 60 minutes in an hour and the 60 seconds in a minute 60 times 60 is 3600 then we divide that by the time taken, which is 314, and that rounds we round that down to get how many runs we could do in an hour if we were smashing this out at a comfortable pace like I was showing, and that comes out to be, be about 11 per hour. So even if you ran this for a full hour, you would make, if you could sell the stoles, which is not an easy task by itself, you would make about 49,000 karmas profit. So that is the worst out of all the dungeons that you can do in the free-to-play area, which I'll discuss in another video. We'll do a little bit of a quick breakdown of the karmas that you can make in the free-to-play dungeons and see how many karmas you can make there. So keep an eye out for that video and thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like if you've made it this far in the video. I do appreciate it. Thanks.